Hey, Ayako! What are you always doing by yourself? It has nothing to do with you. Everyone is always saying that you'll be cursed if you get close to me. Hey, Ayako! What are you doing out here by the abandoned school? You don't look so good. Are you alright? You again? You shouldn't come near me. Ayako! Is that really old hand mirror in the antique? Show me! Why are you dating such obvious things? You are... Don't you have a lot of other friends? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? That's not it at all. You just seem like a really interesting person. That's all. I'm not interesting. Ayako, help! This cat fell from a tree. It can't move. It's going to die. Everybody else ran away. What do we do? Don't look. It's awful that it fell. It looks like it's bleeding. It should be okay if we use a handkerchief to stop the bleeding. The spirit will not be leaving today. We should be able to get this cat to a vet like this. Hurry, we have no time to waste. You are surprisingly not like the others, Utsumi Chinatsu. Just Chinatsu is fine. But then there will be that uncomfortable tension. But you're my hero, Ayako! Because of that cat? It wasn't anything special. No way! Because of you, that Cataran lives with me now. You are my family's hero. They're fully healed now. Hey, come to my house and see the cat. Please. Guess I have to. Even if I don't want to. Even so, your naming skills are awful. Ayako, what do I do? This, this is terrible. Jeez, what are you yelling about this time? You're not in any danger, you know. <laughs> Ayako, let's eat lunch together. You... Why are you always trying to get close to me here at school? Don't you know what they say about me? About how I am a cursed girl? You'll only get hurt if you keep trying to be around me. How many people have told you this? You have tons of friends. But that's not it at all. Aren't some people just very unlucky? Um, well... Being around me doesn't make me a good person. Really? But if I'm still here, it means you're not a bad person, Ayako. You've only done the sweetest things, Ayako. Hey, Chinatsu. I... I can see ghosts. Do... Do you believe me? Uh, nah. It's okay if you don't believe me. By the way, Chinatsu. If I ever go missing... Please don't look for me. When that happens, it will mean that something bad has happened to me. That's why, please, my treasured friend, I don't want you to get involved. Please, Chinatsu, don't look for me. You're wrong, Ayako. Even if you're in trouble all by yourself, I can't do nothing because we are friends. I can't not help you. Aiko, you've always saved me. That's why this time, it's my turn. 
I want to look just as cool as you when I save you. Chapter 6 Sin Umisu san! Umisu san! Wake up! Huh? Huh? Where am I? It's, it's the abandoned school second floor classroom. Do you remember now? Go do it? Huh? I can't move my body. It seems like someone tied us up together a while ago. At least they were nice enough to use some vinyl cord. But still, this cord. Why do they have to tie us together like this? They've also tied my ankles together. Yeah, me too. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. You? Try to remain calm. Okay, so now we gotta break out. Yes, I cut it. Let's look for the others. My suitcase is gone. And my phone. Looks like they were taken. What? What was that sound? Let's investigate. Uh oh. The ceiling collapsed on the stairs! You can't get down like this! We still have time, but more and more things keep standing in our way. Alright, so we need to find a way to get rid of- Oh! <laughs> I don't like her. She's so creepy. Okay, we need to find. So I had to look this up because how would you know to look under? Ugh, gross. Okay, stop. Okay, so it's underneath the scale. There's some part. There's some thick gloves. Yeah. So now that we have some thick gloves, we can give it. Two? Whoa. What are you doing? Okay, let's hang let's give uh Gozui the gloves. I was just joking. But there does seem to be a better way. Just a little bit more. Yes. We can get through this. Let's head to the first floor classroom that's locked. Okay, off we go. I knew it. Still locked. Let's force our way in. How? With the Kirishima family eightfold kick. Huh? Does everybody know that kick? <laughs> Watch out! All right. Reika! Taiko Senpai! Thank goodness, my suitcase is unharmed. I guess I was worried for them after all. Even a good adult can show weakness. Heh! <laughs> what the heck? If you were being a good adult, you wouldn't have ran away. Kasaku! Kasaku is here? He must have just come in here. Please answer me. What are you doing in here? Huh? I wasn't in here to take advantage of Mr. Kimikata Reiko-sama. If that's what you're thinking. I wouldn't be that reckless. I was not. I never wanted to. I am just fine with seeing the young Mrs. Wonderful Face. I should teach your damn suspicious AS the harsh reality of life. This lost girl has the nerve to look at me like this. To treat me like a dirty old man with ill intentions. The young Mrs. Beautiful Face is all I ever wanted. <laughs> but that's just what I thought! Even so, stop it already! 
Even in a time like this, you're despicable, Kasaku. Moreover, quit doing such creepy things. You stupid brat. I just told you I have no ill intentions, and still you attack me. But that's definitely just the surface. Even if a tiny thought remains, how can I not think about that? Enough with that attitude already, and just see the real me. I'll punch you. Act like an adult. Resistance is futile. Huh? What did you say? What does this little girl think she can do to me? That is exactly what I intend to do. I'm laughing. That's good. Why don't you come and try? You'll be fodder to my secret eightfold kick. Huh? Does everyone in Japan know this kick? But Kasaku, that can't be true. Oh my god. <laughs> she has a freaking stun gun. You! Get away! I'm tired of looking at your creepy old face if you aren't on our side. If she hadn't taken my phone then there wouldn't have been no need for the stun gun. I regret my stupidity. Son of a bitch! Put that down! Ah, uh, Kasaku's getting away! It would have been nice if he hadn't run. Looks like I'll have to chase after him. Oh my god. <laughs> Rika! I can't seem to wake her up. Eventually, they'll open their eyes. At least they're not tied up. More importantly, there's no time. We have to move on. Where... where to? Okay, grab the suitcase. Thank goodness nothing happened to my suitcase. Alright, so let's head back out. Let's take another look at the map we found earlier. In particular, look at where this closed off hallway is on the map. There's definitely some sort of black smudge covering it. Oh? Looking again, I can see a room there! I can't believe I didn't notice it earlier. I wonder who boarded up this room and blocked it out on this map. I say that this is it. The thing we've been searching for all along. This room... In this room is... Ayako? That's just... It's possible. <sighs> Stage clear! Alright, that is the end of episode... Uh, seven. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part. See you later.